Hello, and welcome to our latest edition of the New at Noon podcast, where I will be sharing with you new fiction and nonfiction books that are hitting our shelves. So today I'm going to share some fiction and also narrative nonfiction uh, sports novels that we currently have received in our library. The first book that I'd like to share with you is by Yamil Saeed Mendez, and the book is called Furia. Um, in Rosario, Argentina, Camila Hassan leads a double life. At home, she is a careful daughter, living within her mother's narrow expectations and the shadow of her star brother, soccer star brother and under the abusive rule of her short-tempered father. On the field, she is La Furia, a powerhouse of a skill and talent. When her team qualifies for the South American tournament, Camila gets the chance to see how far those talents can take her. But the path ahead isn't easy. Her parents would never allow a girl to play football, and she needs their permission to go any further. And the boy she once loved is back in town. Since he left, Diego has become an international football celebrity, but things have changed for Camila, too. She has her own passions and ambitions, and Furia cannot be denied. As her life becomes more complicated, Camila is forced to face her secrets and make her way in a world unprepared for the dreams of a girl like her. Check it out. It's a fantastic story. The next story that I'm going to share with you is by Michael Picka, the wonderful sports fiction writer for middle grade and young adult readers. Uh, this book is called Strike Zone. It is written about 12-year-old star pitcher Nick Garcia, who has a dream. Many, in fact. He dreams he'll win MVP of his summer baseball league and get to throw out the first pitch at Yankee Stadium. He dreams he'll find a cure for lupus so his sister won't have to suffer. But mostly he dreams of the day his family can stop fearing a government that treats immigrants like they're unwelcome. Yes, in a country that's supposed to be open to all. Luckily, Nick's teammates and two best friends, Ben and Diego, have a back have his back. Together they focus on the few things they can control, like getting the Bronx Blazers into the championship and beating out their biggest rivals. For Nick, that means throwing some serious heat. But bringing the heat on the field doesn't mean he can escape it at home. When Nick notices a mysterious figure lurking in his street corner, all he can do is fear the worst. The ICE officials are coming to deport his family. It's a sinking feeling that follows him all the way to the mound, and suddenly, Nick can't depend on the one thing he could always control his fastball. Just when it feels like Nick's world is about to cave in, an unexpected hero emerges and changes everything. Strike Zone by Mike Lupica. Check it out. The last book that we're going to talk about today is called Canyon Dreams by Michael Powell, a basketball season on the Navajo Nation. A Navajo basketball team takes on the universal challenges of high school and the great joys and unique obstacles facing Native Americans living on reservations. Deep in the heart of northern Arizona, in a small and isolated patch of vast 17.5 million acre Navajo reservation, res ball is passion here. Passed from grandparent to parent to child, a sport for winters where dark and cold descend fast and there is little else to do. It is why the town has 40,500 residents, and its high school gym seats 7,000. Fans drive 30, 50, even 80 miles to see the fast-paced and highly competitive matchups that are much more than just games to players and fans. Celebrated New York Times journalist Michael Powell has spent many months on this high desert land to bring us the story of one team's season. It is a narrative of triumph and hardship, a moving story that shows how important sports can be to youth in struggling communities and illuminates the transcendent magic and painful realities that confront Native Americans coming of age there. Canyon Dreams, written by Michael Powell, a basketball season on the Navajo Nation. It's a wonderful, intriguing story, um, as well as Michael Pickett's Strike Zone and Yamil Saeed Mendez's Furia. So check the books out. I hope you add them to your shelves. And I will see you next time for the next edition of the New at Noon podcast. Have a wonderful day.